Hey guys, Nabil here. And first of all, if I look kind of tired, it's because I am really tired. I did not expect to be making any videos this week because as you know, as you're, if you're following my Twitter account, you know that I just had my second baby daughter born a couple days ago and I'm over the moon, really happy. So I was a little bit offline to be honest in the next, next last couple days, I didn't check Twitter that, you know, I didn't really check what's happening. So I was really surprised today when I decided to just go and see what's happening and just found this huge drama going on with regarding SNK World Championship. And if you're following a little bit of uh, SNK news and esports, then you probably know a little bit of what's happening. But again, it's so conflicting reports, so many conflicting reports, so many information, so many people put in the blame on different things, whether it's SNK or other people or um, so I just decided to just, you know, try to understand what's happening here, went ahead and asked a lot of questions, looked around, um, just to try to get all the information and try to see what's happening here and, and do, uh, is there any really reason for the uproar or not? If there is, we'll talk about it. If not, we'll say why there's no reason to be that mad. But just to give you a little bit of a rundown on what's happening. Now, as you know, there is currently the SNK World Championship Tournament. It's SNK's first major worldwide tournament, which, you know, as SNK fans, we've been waiting for something like this for years. So for it to be happening is insane. It went through different, the different qualifiers that's gonna take the winners of these qualifiers to a top uh, 16 uh, tournament in Japan at the end of uh, March, 2020. Now, everything is cool. Everybody is happy. We had UFA, we had Fourier Tika, we had Canada Cup with different tournaments, right? Different events worldwide that actually served as qualifiers for the uh, SNK World Championship Finals. Now here's where things started to get a little bit, um, well, not, not murky, but this is where people started to get a little bit upset. Regarding the Asian part of the qualifiers, there was supposed to be, or there was, <coughs> the, S the um, and Asia only qualifiers and for some reasons, okay, these were invitation only. So you couldn't just go and register for these events, you actually have to be invited to participate in these events. And as you know, again, if you're into esports and fighting games in general, and you've been following the scene a little bit, invites only tournaments are always a bit, you know, controversial. People are not happy with it. I mean, this is, again, these are not invitationals to the grand finals, you know. These are not SNK hand in free passes to some you know asian chinese or japanese or asian players in general no they're actually invited to participate and then the winners are of course going to be getting a spot in the grand final so that's where things started to get a little bit eh. and right now there's no official reason on why the uh, the asia qualifiers were invitation only uh, there's a lot of things I'm hearing, but I mean, I, I, there's nothing official. My understanding is that they never intended for these to be invitation only and that they had to do that for some reason or another. I'm not sure what the reasons are, but again, it was never intended to be this way. And even though, again, I, just to make it clear for people who do not know how these things work, for people who did not know the whole story, these were not free passes to the grand finals. These were invitation to a tournament. It's a single elimination, not double elimination and the winner is gonna get to, the winners are gonna get to the uh, grand finals in Tokyo. Now here's where things get even more interesting, or not interesting at all, but this is where the, 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 the controversy started, is that what they did is they took one spot from the Asia qualifiers, and, and again, I'm not sure if this was done to actually try to calm down the scene who were not happy about the invitation only uh, Asia qualifiers, and they, they decided to have one spot for these qualifiers, be uh, the winner of an online Samurai Showdown tournament, which is the Ronin Rumble uh, tournaments that actually, uh, I believe every two weeks. So the winner of one of these uh, tournaments was gonna get invited to the Asia only. And this is a bit, okay, this, this is a bit of a mistake, I believe, from SNK, because why would you, this is an Asia only, and you go into a Ronin Rumble, which is actually in North America. So that's a little bit kind of, uh, kind of messy to be you know to say the least but that's not where, where the problem started well, the problem is the winner of the tournament was Didi uh, Didi Mokeyawaf and what happened is there was a bit of confusion uh, so my understanding again as I'm going through the entire thing is that 
the the organizers of Run and Rumble and uh, the you know the winner of Run and Rumble, the, what they understood is that SNK would actually get this the winner. They basically will be paying for everything, right? They basically get them to you know winning the uh, winning that tournament, get them automatically uh, everything paid off to go to the qualifiers, including visa processes and whatnot. But that was not the case. It's actually what happened was. And again, from what I'm seeing is that there was some mistranslation. There was a bit of an issue of com communication issues. Definitely was a communication issue. Um, and it, it's uh, from the way I see it, and I, I'm probably gonna get uh, the blame for this, but I kind of see it from both sides, really, is that SNK did not explain themselves correctly, and the organizers did not, uh, you know, try to clarif clarify things. Now, again, uh, this is based on the what I asked around and talked to people. So again, um, again, probably people are going to be unhappy with, with what I'm saying here. But I, I think both sides were a little bit at fault. And at the end, it was not enough time to actually get visa for Didi uh, Didi Mokeyev because again, he's a Brazilian uh, player, and for him to get to China and get the visa and all that in such a short short period of time because they had this really running close to each other, so that did not pan out, and that's where things went crazy. And people were mad, calling SNK that did not care about the fans, that uh, their game, and then it just automatically it went from talking about the events to just talking about SNK in general and how and I'm not gonna say names I'm not gonna say who named who said what but you can't find everything on the internet but like everybody was like these guys like SNK was this company they never cared about their uh, community they never cared about the fans and you know how their games are so bare bone that coke sucks and just it went crazy and I'm not sure why I'm talk even talking about that. I mean, it's completely different things. And I'm not saying you shouldn't say things are not, you know, if you, if you don't, don't, like, don't like something about an SNK game or a game in general, it's not like you shouldn't go talk about it. But it's just these, you know, it feels like people are blowing things out of proportion. You, you know, like, let's, let's go back a little bit to the event. Did SNK was at fault? Yes, definitely. They were. I'm not saying they weren't, but again, they were not this evil corporation who are trying to get this invitation only to like VIP or whatever just to get these people, push them into the grand finals. That's not what's happening here. They really had, they didn't have a choice uh, from what I'm understanding. And they just did the best thing they thought, you know, they could do. And they tried to appease that by doing the Rolling Rumble thing, which was again another mistake, but they did not do it on purpose. They're trying to show that they care about the community. They're trying to show that they listen. All right. So again, if, if you've been a fan of SNK like I have since the 90s, you see how things have changed. You know, when was the last time we were actually getting information from SNK and we were able to talk to SNK like we do these, you know, past couple year only look a huge change just in the last year so guys just cut cut them some slack they're, they're improving they're changing definitely changing uh, and things are getting better we're getting the snk again world championship this is a great event this is the again and this is the first iteration okay don't compare this to capcom cup who had their you know event happening for years these guys just started they wanted to do something and it's a great initiative is it perfect no it's not but again this is the first step and if we just keep telling them, you know, you guys suck, you don't know what you're doing, you're not even giving them the, the correct criticism that it will help them to actually improve with the next iteration and I hope we're going to have more SNK World Championship. So, to, you know, just not to keep talking about this over and over again. I believe a lot of people were at fault in this situation. I'm not saying SNK is innocent, they actually made a mistake. This was not, from my understanding, it was not intentional. Same thing goes for the Ronin Rumble guys. This was not intentional, it's not something on their, you know, I'm not blaming them either. This was definitely a, you know, a case of miscommunication on a large scale that should not be happening, but it did. And again, the good thing is that SNK have said, they, they came out today and they did a tweet, and I'm just gonna go ahead and read it so I just don't uh, change, you know, don't uh, say something that they did not. It is with a heavy heart that we announce that due to unforeseen circumstances in scheduling, both finalists for last week's Ronin Rumble, Lord Jimmy Bones and Diddy Mokeof, respectfully, are not able to proceed onto the Chinese qualifier match held on the 7th. In this unfortunate event, 
we were left with no other choice but to allow second place player in Japanese qualifier to move into the Chinese qualifier in their place. Truly, this was not what we set to accomplish when we reached out to the Ronin Rumble and for this we only ask for your patience and understanding as we take in all the feedback given to us during these past couple weeks. It is clear we still have a lot to learn, but it is these experiences that allow us to grow and improve from past. That being said, we maintain our commitment to seeing the SWC through to the best of our abilities as we move forward applying the lessons we learned to improve in the event overall. Thank you again for your continued support. They made a mistake. They clearly made a mistake. They said we made a, we made a mistake. We're learning from our mistakes. Things are getting better. We're getting SNKWCS. We're, I mean, this is not, I don't, it's, it's, you know, I'm not trying to defend SNK here, really. I mean, it, you know, when someone messed up, I just say they messed up. Yes, they, the SNK did mess up here, but it's not on this, you know, large scale that, you know, when you, you read Twitter and you see all these crazy, you know, like blaming things on SNK and how they suck and whatnot. These guys just gave us a free season pass for Samurai Showdown. When was the last? you know free season pass we got from any other fighting game you know because you just pinpoint what you don't like so they can improve otherwise you're not giving them anything you're not doing anything to improve that company or that product or anything in life really so again yes snk messed up there was miscommunication uh, they actually you know stood up and said we messed up and we'll learn from this so let's see what happens things are going to look okay we still have the snk wcs this is the first iteration we're going to have more so again i hope i made this as clear as possible to people who are not in the know and i hope i you know i'm, I'm actually tell me guys what, what what you think i mean this is really for me just blown out out of proportion in like a crazy crazy way so um, hopefully this cleared things up um, and again I'm telling everybody just calm down let's you know let's let's work things out like adults really I mean there's a problem respectfully say it this is what what you guys don't like and I'm sure the SNK will look at it as they did with this situation and they'll listen and they'll move on it's unfortunate that people like Didi KOF could not make it to the qualifier although he won so that was that was really really unfortunate but again, it was it was a mistake, and I'm and hopefully SNK will make up will make it up to him, um, and you know maybe next time maybe in another tournament. But again, everything is fine. We can go back and get excited for one Fu who's, who's getting released this this you know in the next couple weeks in Samurai Showdown, and 2020 is almost here. We're gonna have some crazy KOF uh, 15 news coming out as well. So let's just all get back to get excited, play games, have fun and just try to leave the drama behind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, speaking of SNK WCS, uh, if you have not seen my teaser trailer, please do so and know that I'm working on this uh, documentary about the entire event. And I'm going to mention this trauma in the documentary, obviously, and also working on four more documentaries uh, that are gonna be filmed in Japan. Link to the GoFundMe page where I'm asking for your help if you can help uh, is in the, the description below. Um, and until next time, thank you for watching.